Yo, what is good, dev guys? It's your boy K. Yes, sir. I'm back with another tutorial series. I know it feel like yesterday I just dropped some shit on y'all, but this is for the more advanced users. That other series was for a beginner friendly audience. This is for my intermediate and advanced audience. All right, so I got y'all. We, we we doing some asynchronous loading. We're going to set up an asynchronous loading system. And uh, I will go into a lot more detail in the following videos on what and why you would want to have an asynchronous loading system in your game. But let me just uh, step you through this. Uh, we have a, a actor that gets spawned in here. That is our BP a async test. And basically this uh, actor has some functionality set up to uh, either load data asynchronously or try to um, uh, this function here, load random skeletal asset. It tries to get a reference to some hard data that uh, we go ahead and set our skeletal mesh to. So let me just go ahead and press play here so you can see. Um, so right now, if we go ahead and try to load a skeletal asset, we will get an error saying that this data has not been loaded because even though we have a soft reference to this data, it hasn't actually been loaded into RAM. It hasn't been loaded into memory. Uh, so it won't be loaded until we request to load it. So we can go ahead and hit this request async data load. And then when we try to load a skeletal asset, now it'll work. And uh, this, this function, this button just calls a function that randomly selects one of the uh, assets that we pass in right here. One of these three assets that we pass in, it just randomly selects one of them. You see one is like this cube that basically bend, blends in with the ground and this other one, if we can get to it. Oh, it, it's not, it's up, oh, it, there it is, there it is, right there, that's the third one. Uh, it just randomly selects out of those three. But you see, we, we, um, we requested an async load of the skeletal mesh but if we go ahead and try to load some static meshes you'll see the data has been loaded and that's because we haven't uh, requested an async load of those assets and i'm gonna go ahead and set this on a loop so that these can continue to uh run while we load these other ones so i'm gonna try to load again you see the data hasn't been loaded but if i go ahead and request an async load and then randomly select the static uh, meshes you'll see some static meshes will start spawning in there and going through its random selection as well we also have this unload button that will unload all the asset references and clear out all of the hard references so that we can free up memory. And, and there's a lot of reasons why you would want to do something like that. You'll see if I stop playing the game, our actor has been destroyed. It, it no longer exists. But if I go ahead and play the game and then I run these two functions here, you'll see somehow it still will spawn in these actors, even though uh, we close down the game and stop running everything. And that's because that these assets are still loaded into memory and uh, a hard reference of a variable. Uh, so in order to actually clean out the memory, we have to unload the assets. This clears out all of the hard references and unloads the soft references. And now if we try to load either one of those, we'll get the same error saying that the data hasn't been loaded. And uh, I go into more detail why you would want something like this. Um, uh, it'll be too much to explain in this video, but if I stop and play here, you'll see we were, we don't have those references anymore. We have to request them and then we're able to load them. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what we're going to set up. It'll help you get your head wrapped around asynchronous loading. So if you guys are ready for that, go ahead and join me in the next video where we get some theory and some, some knowledge. That way we're all on the same page when it comes to this system. We'll get that out of the way. And then the following videos, we'll go ahead and set up this project, run through all of the things we need to set up. Uh, there's a lot of classes we need to create. There's a lot of code we need to write. So I hope you guys are ready and prepared. And if you are, go ahead and join me in the next video. And I'll see you guys in there. Peace.